It's been more than two months since I last made a video. I went on vacation and took a much needed break from social media and game development. While I was taking a break, something crazy happened in the game dev industry. Epic Games released Unreal Engine 5 Beta. So if you guys don't already know, I've been working on this sci-fi FPS game in Unity for the past year now. So the plan is to try and recreate my FPS game in Unreal Engine 5 in just one week. So why am I doing this? Unreal Engine 5 is a much more powerful engine and games made with Unreal Engine look much better out of the box. It's not like games in Unity look bad, it's just that making something in Unity look as good as Unreal would take a little bit of work. I want to personally find out which game engine better suits me and which one would look better for my game. Now I understand that the game won't look exactly similar and may not even feel the same. I'm definitely not going to be comparing a game that has been worked on for a year to a game that will be made within a week with no experience. But it will still help me understand which game engine better suits me. I have absolutely no experience on Unreal Engine. I'd once tried it a few years ago and ended up giving within a week. So I'm basically starting from scratch here. I opened up Epic Games and downloaded Unreal Engine 5. After an hour it had downloaded. I opened it up and created an FPS template project. When I tried to playtest the game, this happened. Yeah, the game was legit running on 2 FPS. There was no way I was going to be able to game develop on that. Right when I was about to give up, I saw that I had a previous version of Unreal Engine installed. I opened that up to see if it was any more stable than Unreal Engine 5. And well, it was. So I got to work. I started off by creating a Trello board to organize everything that I have in my game. I opened up the project and played around with Unreal for a little while. Half of the game had already been created for me. I can move, jump and even shoot. The movement in my game is very important and the thing that took the most amount of time when creating it in Unity. I have a lot of movement types like wall running, sliding, vaulting, ladder climbing and more. So I got to work. I first found a simple tutorial to make a character sprint. After about half an hour of watching a tutorial and connecting some lines, I could sprint. After completing the sprinting, I got to work on crouching. I found another simple tutorial and after a little while we could even crouch. That was the end of our first day. On the second day, I got to work on the sliding. The sliding was actually really complicated to do as we wanted it to be physics based. So we basically calculate the amount of force applied based on the angle of the floor he's sliding from. I couldn't really find any tutorials and after spending an hour trying to find something that fit my needs, I couldn't. I could have made a non-physics based slide but honestly there would be no point because my actual game has a physics based slide. So I had no choice but to somehow do it on my own. I tried combining a few articles and tutorials online and after a lot of hit and miss I finally had it somewhat working. That was all I did for the entire day. On the next day I got to work on the wall running. I found a simple tutorial and after following the tutorial for an hour it wasn't working. I rewatched the tutorial but it still didn't work. I searched the entire internet but I couldn't seem to find the problem. I just gave up that day and decided to redo the entire wall run blueprint the next day. The next day I deleted all the work I had done the day before and redid the entire wall run script. I guess the third time's a charm because it finally started working. I tried adding camera tilt for a really long time but for some reason it wasn't working. So I just gave up on that. So there is no camera tilt for wall running. For the last type of movement, I started working on the grapple pull. I found a really good tutorial and after a little while of following the tutorial, it was working great. That was the end of the day. For the last day, I imported the pistol from Blender into Unreal Engine and started fixing a few issues and started cleaning up the game. And that is the end of my one week of trying to recreate my FPS game in Unreal Engine 5. Sure, the games may not look exactly the same and I wasn't even expecting them to be. I just wanted to try and understand both engines. I came in this challenge thinking I would probably give up before even completing because of the lack of community. But honestly, I was wrong. There's many different tutorials for almost all the things that were in my game. I had a fun time game developing in Unreal Engine. So which engine am I going to be game developing in? Well even though Unreal Engine seems to be so much better on paper, I couldn't really find any features in Unreal that weren't in Unity. I personally am still going to be sticking and game developing in Unity. I would recommend all of you to try both game developing engines before choosing one. Because game developing engines are personal preference. Even though I prefer Unity over Unreal, it may be different for you. 
that will be it for this video if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe share and i'm out peace